Okay, you guys got to squeeze it. Scoot on over, boys. Okay. You guys can talk AJ too, but okay. Can you please introduce yourself and who does what in the band and where are you originally from? Hi, my name is Garrett. I play guitar for Disco Paris, and I'm from Arlington, Texas. Hi, I'm Brendan. Uh, I'm play bass in the band uh, Disco Paris, and uh, I'm originally from uh, Detroit, Michigan, actually. Hello, I'm Tanner. I sing and play guitar in Disco Curtis. Uh, I was born in Los Angeles and grew up in Dallas, Texas. Hollywood, Texas to be exact. And AJ, who's not with us, he plays drums. And um, he uh, was raised in Hollywood, Texas as well. How did you all meet? Uh, I met AJ in the fourth grade when we were eight years old or so. And he, um, eight or nine, I don't know, but he, he moved over from New Jersey at the time, and he moved into Colleyville where I was living, and he played drums, and he wanted to create a band, so we made this band, um, it was basically just a jam band in his room, and I learned guitar, and then I met Garrett in seventh grade, and we started jamming together, and then kind of had a band with another guy, and then before our senior year of high school, we, we brought Brendan in and started this new project idea, Disco Curtis. How did you come up with the band name, Disco Curtis? Uh, okay, you wanna take this one? Yeah. Okay, well, um, back at home, we, we knew this, this friend of ours, and his name was Curtis, and he's an older gentleman now, but uh, back in the 70s and 80s, he was hot stuff. He was uh, a disco master, as some would say. Uh, he was a disco drummer, a disco dancer, a disco dance instructor, so I mean, he was the disco master. and. Uh, we just, I don't know, always call him Disco Curse, so we thought it'd be cool to call our band that. Yeah, it was just one of those names, it was like, no one else could have it, because no one had a story like we had, it was just something yeah. unique, and it was catchy, so we went with it. For the people who haven't heard or discovered your music yet, what kind of style is that, like, what kind of music um, style? I don't think we can put one style on it. It's definitely um, been influenced by a lot of pop rock, type of music, but I mean we have so many other influences, so with that it's going to constantly be changing and evolving. Uh, I mean it's all still going to be very us, but as of now, we uh, we grew up listening to like a lot of like punk rock and big listening to classic rock and so many different, basically rock, but it's going to be taking different shapes and directions um, with new songs and new stuff. So. It's kind of pop rock with sometimes with an edge or a dance yeah, yeah, yeah. flare. It might have a dance flare, it might have like a jazz flare. I don't know. It's gonna it's gonna be it's it's gonna be jazz. based on that. I want jazz. It's always cool. It's like always centered around rock, but we always uh, try to take different genres, maybe like a thing from a certain element from a different genre and kinda combine it into that rock essence. Like I would say we're a rock band and then everything else can come first. Sometimes it's pop, sometimes it's dance, sometimes it's even like way deeper in the dance world, so yeah, it's techno usual. and like Especially with the new stuff, I think you'll hear a lot of different elements throughout us yeah. with the band. A lot of different genres and yeah, elements of different music brought together under the whole envelope of rock. It's yeah. pretty cool. That okay. was an involved answer. I liked it though. <laughs> <laughs> so you are now on tour. Uh, is there anything you uh, miss at home and what is the number one thing you can't live without? Oh, my Mac. I miss my bed. And my uh, toilet. I miss my kitchen. <laughs> I miss my kitchen. I miss making breakfast burritos in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, and I miss eating for free at my house because food oh, is expensive man. on the road. I miss, uh, what's the one thing I can't live without? I miss my car. My car is fast. It's mm -hmm. so much different driving a trailer. And then, of course, you know, as much friends. Oh, I can't live without my iPhone. Oh, I can't live without my we iPhone, for but I brought it, so it's okay. I can't live without my Mac, actually. I could have, like, a Blackberry or something, but my yeah, Mac is can't replace. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay, do you have any embarrassing memories on this tour or your past tours? I don't, this is like, what, you I slept walk last night. I did really, <laughs> actually, I was having a bad dream, and uh, I was kind of, like, sh like moving in my sleep, so I having a bad dream, and Asia tried to calm me. Try to calm me down and gra he grab me like that. He was like, like oh, hey, it's okay. Me. Yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> he was like, it's okay. And I just like freaked out that I was looking back at my dream and got up and screaming. And, like, these guys are used to it by now. I've had several bad dreams on tour. And so they just kind of like freaked for about five, ten seconds. And then uh, 
<laughs> Tanner was even saying he it's, like pretty much fell asleep as was, soon as he knew it was me. I was too tired to care about whatever was going on. But it's seriously like the worst way to wake up ever. <laughs> like you just wake up and it's pitch black and you hear screaming and you don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, it's and just like this real. terrible I'm feeling. getting more used to it. it. It's an awful feeling to get used to. I'm getting used yeah. to it. Uh, what are some of your favorite fan memories? Um, if you have any. Fan memories. And there's... There's always different. Uh, there's different things. There's diff- like, yeah, there's different situations. There's like meeting new people. There's helping you know, people like, that you know. Like even yeah. it's weird to like in this like stature of like wh- who we are and stuff that people like you know kind of look up to us almost and stuff. It's always cool to hear um, people say like you guys like influenced my band or like you guys are my favorite band or something because like I know a year and a half ago before I I I'd even joined or this Discord has really been started like. There were so many bands that in the local scene that I looked up to, and now like when we play with them and hear other kids say they say they look up to us and stuff and say like we influence them somehow, it's it's probably the coolest feeling ever. Like you can't really describe it as something you've kind of done your whole life and to feel it it's flipped around on you. It's there's nothing like it. Yeah, there's specific examples that come to mind, but they're the kind of more personal things. But just you know, any time that we're able to help someone in some kind of way or help something in their life, then it's very, uh, it's very real. And, you know, that's kind of what we're here for, you know? We just want to be real with people and hang out and show them some light, you know? Whatever it may be. So, uh, who are your, some of your favorite musical influence? Mine would be... Dashboard Professional. Dashboard Professional and Say Anything. Two bands I listen to a lot. As I was growing up, which I'm still growing up. <laughs> I always say as I'm growing up, like I'm really old or something. Um, my favorite, like in the in our genre and stuff, would probably be the main of those guys. And then um, my favorite band. It's hard to feel like I've gotten into a lot of more indie stuff actually lately. Like uh, got into like Alpha Beat and Fuse and a lot of different bands like that. I started just Good. falling in love with them. Minus the Bear a while ago and like different things of Grizzly Bear, a bunch of different. You like bears? Yeah, lots of bears. I think that's going to pop in my head. <laughs> yeah, it just uh, started to draw a lot of different as we're getting like, older and like, I'm, I mean, I'm only 17, like, uh, kind of discovering more music and stuff. Again, pretty much based around rock. I think we all can say we listen to a lot of rock. Good, yeah, who are your musical influences? Ooh. I love the All American Rejects. Yeah, I love Chuck sure Bear. I love Van Halen. Oh, I love, I love a lot of music. Yeah. Um, so. Well, yeah, it's wide. Yeah. I listen to everything. Growing up, we all listen to Clarkson like, Pink. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. But okay. like, Gary and I used to like jam like some Blink One Eight Two and some Forty One songs, like the Starting Line, that whole like punk rock, like New Found Glory. That sort of thing, yeah. dude. That was pretty much me too. We used to, I still look, I look up tabs for Blink One Eight Two and just <laughs> rock out my garage and stuff. Yeah. It was awesome. You still, wait, you still do that? I said you used to. Oh, I think uh, I, I still, still do. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of fans, i uh, got some few fan questions for you. Okay, that I, sweet. That I try to get everybody to do. This excites me. <laughs> um, this one's from Chris Coons. Um, number one, when on tour, what is your, what is everyone in D, 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 uh, Disco Curtis fun thing to eat? Sorry. What's our favorite thing to eat? Yeah. Sure. Or, or fun. What's a fun thing, thing for us to eat? Fun. Oh, fun? Oh, I thought you said favorite. Fun. Either way, we'll go fun. <laughs> fun? Oh, fun I like, I always like to go and like find like a different Asian restaurant around. Like so most of the time we're like stuck in malls sometimes, so it's pretty limited, but like there's always like cool like uh, pho places. This type of soup called pho, and I like, oh gosh, I just want to eat that every single day. It's like the most fun food. I mean, it's like you can put fun on it. There you go. Chipotle's fun to eat. Yeah, right. I like Chipotle. 